Hello, hello, hello. And we have Defend from the EU server back with the Massachusetts ranked gameplay with Amagi, Alinde, Wukong, Akatsuki, Kagero versus Massey, Bismarck, Charles, Harlem, Aki, and a Lo Yang. Honestly, I would call it roughly even with a slight advantage on the enemy team. And we are on arms race. So it's definitely who's gonna get the health buff and the reload buff. Those are both both two good buffs. For secondary battleships it's gonna do wonders. But the health buff is the major one. Whoever gets that's gonna get an early lead. Charles gets spotted. Charles turning away. Shots out. Enemy detected. Gets about a 4K hit on it. That's not bad. Especially in ranked. Any amount do does wonders against a ship that cannot heal it. So it adds up. It adds up for sure. Oh, Mr. Lo Yang, Lo, Lo Yang. Uh, did we get some good hits on that Lo Yang? Anything will work. Nothing. No one got the health buff. Lo Yang came close to getting it, though. Shots in from the Bismarck. Aki versus Aki. Looks like he got about 1,500 on that Aki. That helps the other Aki for sure. The ship is on fire. And he has to disengage. You can't really push into both these because he'll be spotted and then he'll get farmed. So he's got to pull back a little bit. His team did get the health buff, but the enemy team got the reload buff. But the health buff is what is what's really gonna help him stay alive. Okay, Linde dies to floods from the little Yang. That is unfortunate. And that was their radar too, so that is unfortunate. That's will have an effect. Since they don't have radar for their cruisers now. But the enemy team doesn't have radar either. Harlem. I don't really know why anyone take it, like, would take a Harlem. Oh, 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 oh. So close. Dispersion says, nope, sorry. Harlem is taking a lot of damage, though. The team is focusing him down. So he has to pull back. Which is unfortunate because he can't use his, his um, bomber strikes if they keep forcing him away like that. Lo Yang's almost down. Oh, oh, Wu Kong goes down. Can nobody get the Lo Yang? That is unfortunate. He is going to live on super low. Oh, boy. We got a low, we got a Aki and an Aki 
they're both super low and they're both on similar HP. But the battleship here is going to make the difference. Does he get the hips? He does get the hips. Enemy destroyer and the Yazaki managed to live. And that health buff is going to kick into effect and he'll slowly take back that health. So that is going to be massively important. Now that, remember that Kigera, or that Lo Yang was on super low HP. Kigera has enough HP that he could shoot and gun down that Lo Yang. I need support. The downside is he will get outspotted. Like defense does. The ship is on fire. Wait a smoke screen. I think the Aki is detected. He goes undetected. Does the Bismarck, does he get any extra follow-up shots? He does not. He does not get any follow-up shots. Oh, there were some HE shots shot in. I think he could have been a permafire. No, that was not a permafire. So, he lost a huge advantage to get the uh, Aki down. That's going to cost the mass. That's going to cost him. And he's still got three and a half kilometers to go to get out of that secondary range. That is going to slowly tick up. Kagero got the reload buff, but the Aki, or the Yo Yang, got the health buff. Now, Defense has to be careful crossing this gap because he will be able to be shot by Bismarck. Amagi, yes, Amagi gets the Harlem down. That helps a lot. Amagi goes down to the Harlem. HE versus HE. No fires. The enemy team is in the lead now. They have the ship. Defense is practically the best battleship left. Bismarck pushing in. Oh, there's the Lo Yang. Good choice. Yep, go for the Lo Yang. Oh, he does get the Lo Yang. Now he needs to reverse back in. So the Lo Yang's torps that were obviously launched don't go after him because that Lo Yang was laying a smoke. Yep, there ahead. are the torps. Defend anticipated that. He is going to miss the torps. Dead ahead. Barely on that one torp, though, barely, but he missed it. If those torps had hit him, it would have been game over. Bismarck plus torps equals, and he says, Aki, run. No, Aki, I definitely run. Get your health back. Stay alive. Honestly, torp and, torp and just shoot. There is no reason to throw your ship away. Why is he is he turning? Yep. Oh, yeah, he was det undetected. That was stupid. That was really stupid. Because Kagero's doing it. He's just spotting and dropping torps. Eventually, he's going to run. He's, something's going to hit. That's all that matters. Now we do have a difficult thing though. We have a Bismarck that is angled. And we have a Massey. Ship is on but that Massey is only at 7,000 HP. Bismarck picks up high caliber. Defense gets his high caliber. Congrats. Is that gonna get a is that gonna hit? Did that gonna be a Citadel hit? No, it is not. And we are seeing the strength of the Massachusetts here. Not very many battleships could survive this kind of punishment. He's already up to almost a million and a half tanks. Kigero is the only thing locking down that A cap. The enemy team gets that A cap, their point is just going to go skyrocketing high. Again, why would the Massey just 
that is just honestly stupid. That is a mistake on his part. Oh. Kagero is slightly detected. It looks like he's trying to get away. He's trying to disengage. Can the Finns get another shot off to kill that Massey? He's trying to get the back gun on. He's trying. He's trying. Full salvo of HE. Is it enough? No, it is not. Kagero shot from his smoke. Did his did he get a permanent fire? He did get a permanent fire, Kagero did. That is a permanent fire. He's putting shots in. Yep. That looks like the Massey DC. No. Yeah, I think he did DCP, but he has a super low HP now. Like, we're talking like dead dead. He captured the increased buff for the damage. That'll help out the Gero. How does the ma- Oh, there he goes. He did a U-turn. HG for the win. Here's Mark's second enemy coming in from the side. Nothing. Gero has to leave the cap to disengage. Smart. He has no choice. He knows he can't stay there. He's dropping torps. Does he hit something with those torps? Again, it's not about a. It's just a numbers game. It doesn't take much. Those Kagero torps do pretty good damage. One good torp and it evens a playing field. Now, defense still has one heal left. He could pop it, but it would be really not worth it popping right now. Bismarck does have more HP and is healing. If Kagero has another... Oh, we have a Charles. Does Do we get any damage? No, it looks like he held the fire. He is turning it into Super evade potential torps. Torpedoes, direct front. Torps, yep, there were the torps. Doesn't mean he, those were his left side. He could circle back around and drop the right side. So he is in danger still of torps. The enemy team has win condition now. They are 80 points ahead. He is he is still sitting there Problem solved, broadside. Sir. Why? That is very unorthodox. Every second that ticks by means that he gets a little bit more health back and the Massey just becomes a little bit more tankier. If Kagero can squeeze in and get that health buff, that's going to make Massey practically unbeatable at this point. The Massey will gain back so much more health than the team. Oh! Charles made a big boo-boo. Armor pierced on the side. It will hurt a little, but no damage. Now, that might hurt. Oh, 30,000. Yeah, uh, Charles, that was not a good move, buddy. You should have pulled back and fired from a distance. Staying close where the Massey is not off is just stupid and idiotic. Bismarck going for the brawling. He gets a nice 30K hit. Armor-piercing American style, folks. That Bismarck traded his whole advantage. Ship is on fire.
There is no way that Bismarck's gonna win. He does get a good return salvo, but he throws his ship away. There's the New Orleans. And Miyaki on the enemy team is fuck me, the stupidity. I think his team's saying, why didn't your torp drops? What a throw. It was a little bit of a throw. Yeah, Petraus had pulled back. HE spam defends down. And Bismarck had came in. Could have been different, but he gets a Kraken and a high caliber. Wonderful job. Wonderful match. So we, he cracks um, over a million and a half credits, 7,000 ship XP, and 3,500 free XP, Fireproof, Dreadnought, Kraken, and High Caliber. 180k in a well-earned ranked match. Team score, he has 2,600 base XP. Kagero did a really good job. He was ranked too. He knew what he was doing. You can now you can definitely see in terms of ranks. Defense did have the better team. Devil Worshipper was king of the sea. That's a tough emblem to get. Now then that really sticks out on the rest. Sixty-four K to Bismarck. That's basically all the Bismarck's health. He took basically a whole Massachusetts health. All the Charles health. Two thirds of the Aki's health, if not the majority of it. I would say two thirds of it had some ability expert, two or all of it if he didn't. In terms of what he took, he took a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Look from the Bismarck. That those last armor piercing salvos really hurt him. The Massey and him had a pretty good duel. But he outtraded the Massey in every bit of damage. And did a lot more to him than he did to him. He lost three secondary battery guns and sixteen AA modules. Tanked over 2 million. So still ends up with over a million and a half. Green booster for 3,500. And looks like elite 21 point commander with 42,000. Elite commander XP. Well done, Devens. Well done. Great match.